food prep for the week. We've got three, five pots of chicken, roughly 200 grams of chicken in each pot, two spuds, these are going in a microwave for about, what do we think, 10 minutes. Whilst they're cooking. Wok. Bit of spray. And we're gonna chuck in some of the garlic. Start with the garlic whilst the pan's heating up. Teaspoon of that. We've got our mushrooms. Probably need a chopping board, don't we? I go pretty rogue with the old chopping. This is for when I'm at work. So I reckon we'll use about half of these mushrooms. It's probably about, let's say 300 grams. Split between five pots. And chop them in, obviously with a little bit of garlic. Garlic mushrooms, chop a little bit of courgette in there. Some people like to call it zucchini. What's there cooking up? Chop some spinach in, and then we'll divvy up the potato between the five pots as well. Then that'll be that. Get through a few of those tomorrow. mushrooms tend to reduce down quite a bit. I'm sure old Gordon will have something to say about my chefing skills. But then again, you know, everyone's got their own view, haven't they? Gordon Ramsay ain't trading for bobsleigh. I think he does a little bit of the old cycling or running. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. As you can tell, I'm really not too fussed about how these mushrooms are. Pretty good little filler. I'm trying to get some colour into the uh, pots. If we can. Try and get some greens in there, spinach, and leafy greens, etc. Always good to have in because they tend to be a little bit more alkaline, so we can try to reduce the acidity of our system, neutralising the system. Our body's predominantly acid, so if we can reduce that, try and neutralise it slightly. It's only going to help us, isn't it? So ultimately, we need some fuel for our training. Bodies are made in the kitchen. We'll have a couple more. We'll have a couple more, chef. Never hurt anyone, did it? Never had too many veggies. By the time all this lot is cooked, potatoes will be done. We can split those up a little bit.
box it all up. Like I said, we'll chuck it in the fridge. We'll have some oats for breakfast, I reckon. And garlic reduced a little bit. Little tip for you, if you ever cooking on the old electric hob, keep the heat at maximum, but things start getting a little bit smoky, all you've got to do is take the pan off the heat. We'll go, what do we think? Half zucchini, courgette, whatever you want to call it. with this actually, you never know. You never know how, it, how it's going to come out, do you? We'll see, we'll see. We will see. Little cubes. Another little tip for you. Try and keep all your, your sizes the same. Because that way they all cook at the same speed. So we chuck in a few of the old courgettes. You get a nice mix, all the flavours of everything going in. We've got a salt and pepper, always got good to season. Remember, cook with your condiments. Got any herbs or anything? Put with them. Don't just chuck it on at the end. That's where you get the flavour in your food, rather than making it look pretty. I do appreciate half the eating. Oh, that's a bit better. Isn't it? Half the eating's in the looking. It looks all right. It will probably taste all right. And we've got on a spud. Three and a half minutes. Oh, I lost you. So, lost you again. Crumbs. There we go. There we go. That's better. Good old spinach. Chuck loads of that in. Good source of iron. As we know, old Popeye, he did all right off it, didn't he? Good. So our last little bits while it's all cooking. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So yeah guys, this is normally what I do. Prior preparation prevents poor performance as we know, standard old motto. See how much this spinach reduces down. Uh, yeah. So we've got five pots. I don't know how many calories are in each. Um, but yeah, try and get a balance with high protein. There's a bit some carbs in there. Just try and keep the fat down. And then that way, we are able to metabolize the fat that we've got. We can use the carbohydrates to have a higher or even lower glycemic index. So we get a slower release of uh, glucose and glycogen throughout the day and then yeah by the time we get around to the evening might get home and have another pot never know or some fruit fruit's always good always got some fruit knocking about pears apples bananas chuck in a little bit of mango I don't want to go too crazy on it and yeah so we can see there's a Quite a bit of steam coming out of this. Steam, not smoke. No, I'm not burning the burning the spinach. And it reduces quite nicely. Some nice colours in there. One thing I do like to do actually is got some cherry tomatoes, baby tomatoes. I can't really remember tomatoes, just add a little bit more colour in there. It's 
So that's now all reduced down, it's cooking away. We'll leave that one. Plate for the spuds. Do we think they'll be cooked? Do we think? 10, 11 minutes? It's going to be tense. One of the things you might know is we've got in my kitchen. Certificate from the Olympics and my world record reminder. Every day I see those. Remember what you've achieved, what you can achieve. You can always go on to a hit bigger and better things. So yeah, there we go. I reckon that will do for that. Catch you in a minute. This is too good to miss out on guys, I'm telling you, this is too good. So, the spuds, they're pretty warm, not going to lie to you, can't lie to you, they're hot. A little test for you if you know they're done, knife goes in, comes straight out, oh, what are the chances, straight in, straight out. So, what I like to do, I'll just cut them down the middle. Yes, a little bit on the hot side, I tell you. And we can cut them into quarters. Mind your fingers, obviously if you're a little bit younger, make sure you've got a responsible adult. Put them with sharp knives. That's, that's really hot, that one. Wow. So, that's that done. If you're watching this in smell of vision you're welcome. So, here we go. We're going to box these up. We'll turn right, here we go. Here we go. So, we've got the spinach, mushrooms, and courgette. Is that going in? because you always think you're doing too much and the reality is it's either not enough or it's just right now uh, we'll get our spuds we'll chuck a quarter in each so we've got a little bit of carbohydrate in there let's go for these two there we go some of that we've got some spare spud left over and then we'll just chop up our tomatoes and put them in. There you go, finished product. So we've got the chicken, we've got spinach, mushrooms, garlic, potato and tomatoes times three, four, five. There you go.